Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another After Effects and Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we'll be creating custom 3D holograms that you could use for like a cyberpunky futuristic vibe. I'm basing my effects specifically off of the No Save Point music video directed by Mike Diva. There's a quick shot in there where it shows these giant fish just swimming through a city. So I decided to look on CG Trader for any free fish 3D objects that look good and it was a bonus if they were already animated. So I downloaded a free shark 3D object from CG Trader and then opened it up in Cinema 4D but unfortunately it said it was animated, no animation came through so I just added a quick animation but I won't be showing that in this tutorial. So the first thing that I did was throw my animated 3D object into a new null object because if I want to keyframe this later to show movement I don't want to mess with the animation by adding in keyframes. So if you just keyframe that null the animation that's on the original 3D object should not be affected. So I double click down below to create a new material and this 3D object only came with a base color and a normal so I added those to to the color and the normal and made sure to check on those boxes so that they're actually affecting it and then added that material to the shark layer. Now I'm planning on adding this 3D shark to a stationary scene but if you have a moving scene you would want to 3D camera track that in After Effects so you could put that camera data into Cinema 4D but since mine's stationary I am just going to create a camera and place it where I want it to be in relevance to my plate. So I knew I I wanted the camera to be at a lower angle so that the sharks could swim over it. So I created a new camera and then repositioned the camera to be at that low down angle exactly how I wanted it. And if you're new to Cinema 4D, you just click that little box icon that's right next to the camera and that will put you in the camera's view. And then if you want out of it, you just unclick it. So now we're going to keyframe that null that the shark is in so that the shark moves past the camera because it's already animated to move like a fish but it's stationary while it's moving so we are now keyframing that null so that it moves past the camera. So I turned on the position keyframes, moved the null past the camera, and then hit the keyframe button at the end of the timeline to set another keyframe. Now Cinema 4D always keyframes by default by putting an easy ease onto any of the motion, and I didn't want that, I just wanted a consistent swimming motion. So what I did was I went to Window, Timeline, Dope Sheet, and now we can find the position keyframes and change it to line instead of the Bezier curve setting. All right, now we're gonna duplicate that shark layer. So hold command, click the null, and then drag down, and that will duplicate that shark. So again, we're gonna create a new null object and make that duplicated layer a child of that null. So that way we can move the shark over. So now we see the two sharks, but the animation that we just created isn't messed up. All right, now that the sharks are set up, this is a good time to go into your render settings if you haven't already. We're gonna change the file type to PNG and then click the box that says alpha channel. This will allow us to render our scene and only the sharks will show up and everything else will be transparent so that when we add it to After Effects, it's just going to have our sharks on it. All right, so now the last thing we're gonna do is light the scene. So I just added a basic light and moved it above the sharks in the scene and then duplicated that light and moved it below the sharks. So now they look evenly lit. I wanted that even lighting just because we're gonna be making it look like a hologram. I didn't want any crazy shadows. And I knew I wanted to turn my hologram pink. So in the general tab of the light settings, I changed the color of the light to pink. Now go ahead and render your Cinema 4D project and then open up After Effects. Import your plate or your background, and then we're going to import our Cinema 4D render, but we're going to pull up that file, and once you just click the top PNG, you should see down below a little box that says PNG sequence. Make sure that's clicked, and then it will import the entire thing as a video. After I import that sequence, you can see that it's interpreting it as 30 frames a second, even though I exported at 24 frames a second, so I just right click, interpret main 24 and then that should change it to 24 frames a second all right now go ahead and drag your cinema 4d render on top of your footage and once again 
everything should be transparent except for whatever 3D objects you put in there. If you have black screen with your sharks or whatever object you're using, chances are you didn't hit that alpha channel button. So you're gonna have to re-export that. And now on my shark layer, I lowered the opacity to be 85 so it's semi-transparent. And then for the final touch, I added a glow to it. And that is how you do a custom 3D hologram effect to make your footage look more futuristic or cyberpunky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.